hello hello welcome to my channel thanks for tuning in today we are on day seven of my 12 days of home ownership and we are going to discuss inspections if you don't know me my name is Maurice Cunningham I'm a Tampa Bay realtor and I really just like to help people understand the home buying process and answer any questions that you might have so a part of buying a home you definitely want to get an inspection and um, it's usually the first thing that you do once you go under contract of you know finding your dream home now the inspection period it will last it could go well in the state of Florida it can be up until 15 days um, I usually don't ask you know in my offers uh, for a whole 15 days uh, usually I'll say 10 days and that is 10 calendar days and that is basically gives my uh, buyer time to schedule an appointment to get the inspection done and also to review the inspection report to decide if they would like to um, continue on uh, with the purchase agreement. Now, um, say for example, you get your inspection report and you don't like what's on there, you can always um, negotiate with the seller and ask them to make the repairs that are on the report. Or if they don't want to make the make the repairs, you can always ask for a credit so that you know once the closing is done, um, you'll have the funds to uh, make uh, the repairs and schedule it on your own. Or sometimes, you know, you can negotiate uh, dropping the price a little bit. So there's different things that can happen once you get your inspection report and you look at the results. Um, if you get to your um, the deadline of the inspection and you decide that, you know, you and the seller are not going to come to an agreement, you can cancel during the inspection period and um, get your earnest money deposit back. Usually that's the only time that you're able to cancel and get your deposit back unless you have other contingencies and things that you set up and they agree to during, once you submitted your offer. Now there are different types of inspections. Um, the first one is a complete home inspection and this is the most thorough inspection that you can ask for. Some people are like, well how much does an inspection usually cost? An inspection um, cost is really determined by the, the size of the home and the type of the home that you are going to purchase. Um, it goes by square footage or the type of home if it's going to be multi-level upstairs, downstairs, basements, Florida we don't have basements but all of those things are um, considered when determining how much the inspection is going to cost. Um, like I stated the complete home inspection that is the most extensive type of inspection you can order. It's going to cover all your major systems, um, your HVAC which is your heating and air, your plumbing, your electrical, the roof, they're going to look at the insulation that's in the attic area. Um, it, your um, license inspector is going to look at the walls, the ceiling of the home, the floors, windows, doors, and most important, they're going to look at the foundation. Now, some people say, okay, Marisa, you know, I'm buying a new construction. Do I really need to have an inspection? I would definitely say yes please get an inspection. I have my own personal horror story um, where I bought a new construction and my realtor at the time says, oh, Marisa, you could save, you know, a couple hundred dollars and not get an inspection. You know, it's a brand new home. Usually nothing's wrong with it. Me being uneducated said, okay, you're right. I could save some money. Well, Come to find out a year later after I had um, been in my home, the AC went out. And I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? This is a new system. Come to find out the builder put in the wrong size um, AC handler. So be the handler that they had for the square footage of my home and to factor in the 
the height of my ceilings, the AC handler was too small. So basically my um, AC was burnt out. <laughs> So I, that's what another reason why I say always get an inspection even if you have a new construction. Another type of inspection is a four point which is going to look at the four major um, systems in the home which is the HVAC, electrical, plumbing, and the roof. Again, it's not as extensive as the complete home inspection but some people go for that option um, if that interests them. Other add-ons that you can have for an inspection would be a wind mitigation and a termite inspection. Now these you can add on to your complete home inspection or your four point. Usually it gives you a discount on getting your home insurance uh, because the ins insurance company knows that it went and it looked at these things that might, especially in Florida, wind mitigation for hurricanes and termite inspection. Some people, if if you don't see any term um, any evidence of termites, I usually don't you know say to get a termite inspection. But if your report comes back and you have evidence of termites, which are or um, wood destroying organisms, I would definitely say get a termite inspection. But like I stated, these to the wind mitigation and the termite inspection, those would have your um, home insurance get a discount. Well, I hope this answers some of your questions that you have about inspections. Thank you for watching. Tune in tomorrow, day eight. We're going to talk about appraisals. Um, be sure to like and subscribe to stay in the know of everything real estate. Um, I have a couple of links that I leave down below, which will give you access to a home buyer's guide that I put together, which again is very helpful in um, guiding you through the home buying process. I have a seller's guide. And if you're looking to relocate into the Tampa area, I have a neighborhood guide. Um, so it lets you know about all of the areas in the Tampa Bay area. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.